guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah, and I'm the mom of muscle. And in today's video, we are talking all about pillows. So if this is something you're interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you have yet already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at Mom with Muscle. Without further ado, let's get into this. So like I said, we are talking all about pillows. This first portion of this video is going to be a haul. I have been updating my space like a mad woman and I have done a whole entire pillow refresh here in my living room. So I'm gonna be doing a haul first. And then the second portion of this video is going to be on tips and tricks and just different things, takeaways when it comes to styling, what patterns to look for, and some of the companies that I have been loving for purchasing my pillows. So keep on watching if this is something you're interested in, but let's get into the first portion of this. So let's start with Target pillows first. I do have three pillows that I picked up from Target. I do wanna stress, I think Target has been doing a fantastic job when it comes to their decor, their textiles. I feel like there's a seat for every ass at Target, which means whatever your home decor style is, I feel like anybody can find something that they love at Target. So I did pick up three pillows. My predominant color scheme in my home is black and white with hints of green and hints of brown. So I did wanna bring in a little bit more greens and a little bit more brown to this living room space. So let's start with, it's actually these two pillows. So this first pillow is a 20 by 20. It's in this beautiful sage green with this really fun texture, really fun pattern on it. It's a pattern, but it's not like in your face pattern. I love this color. I think this is such a great way to pop in some color without it being overpowering. This pillow does have a removable cover, which is great. And that way you can put your own insert. So this was the first pillow. And I think this one is priced at $22 at Target. So that's the first pillow. The second pillow is actually right behind me. It is in that same green color. Their green is really beautiful again, because it is not an in-your-face green, it's a very muted green. And I love it because I'm bringing in that color, but it has a little bit of texture and dimension based on the of the weave of it. But then if you look closely, it's got this little scallop detailing here on the edge of it, which I thought was really fun. So I loved these pillows. I think this is a really great option. And this one is a 24 by 24, I believe. And I think this one was priced at $25. Again, this is a removable cover. So I did stuff my old pillow in here to save a little bit of money. But I do think Target is also adding like a little tag on their pillows that say like removable cover, which is really great to be on the lookout. So this is the second pillow from Target. And then the third pillow is actually, again, right behind me. I'm just taking all my pillows away. The only downfall with this particular pillow is it is not a removable cover. There is a synthetic uh, insert in here, so I can't change it, which is kind of a bummer, but it was on clearance for $21. But I love it because it's neutral. This is in a light cream color, and then you have the kind of muted stripes. So you are getting a pattern without it being too much. But it was only $21, and I love it because it is cream, it is soft, and there is a little bit of texture between the nice striping. So those were the three pillows that I recently picked up from Target. Right, the next pillow within this haul is from a company called One Affirmation. Now this is a company that I have recently come across and they have beautiful stuff if you are looking for pillow covers. So this is the pillow. It is in this beautiful black and light brown striped pattern. I love it because it's got pattern without it being overdone and it's pulling in the black and the brown factor for my space. Now this is a cover and it is rather expensive. This was $65. But one thing really cool about this company is they actually make preset combinations. So all you have to do is like select the color or like the color scheme of your home. And then they already have five, six different bundles of different patterns and different textures already like laid out for you. So if you are totally at a loss, if you are struggling on what type of patterns, what type of pillows, what colors to do, One Affirmation actually just has like a preset combination you just pick it and they send all the pillows already sent and styled for you so it takes kind of the thinking out of it which is really cool so again this pillow is from a company called one affirmation and all their information will be linked down in the description box but that is the next pillow within this haul now the next set of three pillows are all from amazon and they are from my company creative co-op which i absolutely love you guys should know this by now i will go blue in the face Creative Co-op and Bloomingville, the best hands down sellers on Amazon. So let's start with the first one. This is a 20 by 20 square. There is a pattern, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Can you see that? There is a very, very muted pattern, but there's so much texture to this pillow. It's got texture, it's in a cream, so it's a very neutral pillow 
with a little bit of pattern, which I loved. This is a cover. It did come with an insert, but again, I took that insert out and added my own pillow to then give it the choppable look. That was another pillow that I picked up, again, off of Amazon from the company Creative Co-op. That's that. The next pillow from Creative Co-op is bringing in, again, this black. So I wanted to bring in another pattern. Love this. This is a little bit more of a canvas feel. It has a really bold pattern, kind of mixture of black and a cream. So it's not a stark black and white, but I thought that was really fun for a cool pattern to just bring in that black aspect. Again, it is in a removable cover. These all Creative Co-op pillows did come with an insert. So when you're buying it, price is the cover and the insert, but the insert is synthetic. It's not going to be a downfill, but I love that you can remove all these pillows for the sake of cleaning purposes and for adding your own insert. So that was the next item from Amazon. And the very last pillow from Amazon, again, is from Creative Co-op, is this really beautiful lumbar pillow. This is in a 28 by 14. Thought this was really fun for a cool pattern. Again, bringing in the black, bringing in the cream. This is, it has a removable cover. This is one I have yet to replace because I need, it's such a specific size. But again, this came with the insert and it came with the cover, but I thought that was really pretty. It's kind of like a mud clothy type vibe. And yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with mixing and matching patterns. So that was the next item from me. All right, and the final portion of this haul is from Etsy. I wanted to bring in brown, so I only brought in one brown pillow. This was from Etsy. I found a seller that makes beautiful pillow covers. Again, when you're buying them, you're only just getting the cover, so you will need your own insert. But I thought this brown was so pretty because it's kind of a muted brown, and you have a little bit of the cream striping there. So just mixing patterns, mixing textures, mixing different colors. I've been having so much fun with bringing in new pillows here into my living room. Do keep in mind, you guys, it is trial and error. There are many times that I brought pillows back because it just didn't work, it didn't make sense. So don't get frustrated. It's kind of a puzzle. You have to make it work. But this was a beautiful, beautiful find from Etsy. I think Etsy is a great place to go shopping. If you are looking for pillows, you're looking for something a little bit more, not so mainstream like Target, there's a lot of really fun options on Etsy. So be sure to check it out. So that is the last and final pillow from this haul. All right, so the second portion of this video is a little bit of tips and tricks when it comes to your pillows, how to style them, what to look for, etc. So let's start with the first kind of tip and trick, which is your pillow insert. Now, I bought all of my pillows. Most of them were just the cover, but some of them did come with an insert. So I will use my seasonal pillows as the actual insert. I have a ton of seasonal pillows that are all downfill that I got from Home Goods and from just years all over. So these are all just normal downfilled pillows that I have just stuffed inside. Now, when you guys are getting your pillows to make sure to buy a smaller cover with a bigger insert. For example, if you are buying a 20 by 20 pillow cover, you typically want to buy a 22 or 23 pillow insert. You're gonna get a fuller, more stuffed looking pillow rather than it being undersized and just kind of like limp. So that's kind of one tip and trick when it comes to your pillows. So just using your seasonal pillows as a way to insert a new cover. Now, what would you do with the, say the pillows come with a, you know, a synthetic insert already in it? What I usually do is I will buy a outdoor pillow cover and use the inserts from the indoor pillows as a way to stuff the now outdoor pillow. Everything is being used for its intended purpose. Nothing is going to waste. So if it does come with a, a synthetic insert, I will use it to stuff my outdoor pillows because to be honest, I don't care if there is a downfield insert in a outdoor pillow because they are outdoor pillows. So use your seasonal pillows when it comes to stuffing new covers and if it comes with a synthetic insert to use that insert for freshening up maybe your outdoor space pillow. So that is tip number one. Tip number two, how many pillows do you put on your couch? My rule of thumb when it comes to styling my couch is however many corners your couch has, I will do three pillows per corner. I have an L-shaped sectional, so I have three, six, and nine pillows. They are all different shapes, they are all different colors. So yeah, that is kind of the rule of thumb when it comes to how many pillows to put on your sofa. Think three pillows for every corner. Tip number three, what do I look for when it comes to buying pillows? I look for color, texture, and pattern. You wanna have one color, you wanna have one texture, and you wanna have one pattern. You can mix patterns, which you guys will see in my examples. You can do different patterns. You can do a muted stripe with maybe a little bit bolder. 
Keep in mind, you don't wanna do a polka dot, a chevron, and a stripe. That is going to be way too busy. So be very selective when it comes to bringing in multiple patterns per style. But I always suggest doing a single color, a single pattern, and a single texture. So when I mean texture, you could bring in a Sherpa pillow. You could bring a boucle pillow. You wanna bring in texture that brings a little bit more visual interest when it comes to styling your pillows. So that is the next tip. Now the last tip and trick is where to find pillows. Obviously, Target is definitely a go-to and I love the fact that they are making removable covers. Number two, home goods. We all love home goods. There are some seriously great pillows and I've seen some beautiful designer pillows at home goods for a fraction of the price. So always be on the hunt for home goods. Now for another place, Etsy, like we've already talked about, there are some beautiful sellers on Etsy that make mud cloth, linen. I mean, every color you can think of. If you can't seem to find it at your mainstream stores, always go to Etsy to find some really customizable, some really unique type pillows. Uh, one affirmation, always check one affirmation if you have a little bit of a higher price point. Amazon, they're always changing their stock, their inventory, so check Amazon. And then last but not least, I love tjmax.com. I seem to do a lot better when I go to tjmax.com versus in store. I'm not sure why that is. Always check out tjmax.com if you're looking for pillows as well. So that is kind of the last and final tip to this video. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming into my space, into my living room, and getting a little bit of tips and tricks on pillows, pillow styling, as well as enjoyed this pillow haul. I am going to be bringing you guys a summer refresh. Please stay tuned. I have one more thing that I'm waiting on before, kind of giving you guys a updated summer tour. And yeah, that is it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.